concrete has this unique characteristic of thermal mass. It has a very high uh, specific heat capacity uh, and also the required um, uh, thermal conductance um, required to uh, moderate the indoor uh, uh, temperature requirements in our uh, buildings. What we've found is that uh, using life cycle analysis we've been able to determine that concrete with its thermal mass properties uh, is able to uh, generate significant energy savings uh, over conventional construction uh, in the order of 70% energy reductions uh, for the service life energy use in our structures uh, utilizing the thermal mass concept. Too many times we focus our attention on the initial embodied energy that goes into putting a structure in the ground when in fact in the vast majority of cases this represents less than 10% of the total energy that will be consumed by that structure over its 60 year service life. Uh, the, the characteristic of concrete is that when you couple it with geothermal energy sources, which is energy available immediately below our feet in the crust of the earth, um, we are able to uh, uh, temper the uh, fossil fuel energy demand in heating and cooling our structures uh, to the point where we can um, uh, develop 70% energy savings in our concrete structures. Concrete being an extremely strong and durable product is moisture resistant, so if there is some infiltration of moisture to the structure, uh, concrete will not support uh, the development or the growth of mold, it won't decay. Uh, it's a very resilient product, so repairs and refurbishments can be made to the structure without any uh, impact on the structural frame. Uh, being a very durable material, it has an extremely long service life, which is the, the main facet of sustainability. Uh, to be able to use our structures over an extended period of time. And because of the sound attenuation and the fire resistance that's innate in concrete construction, these structures are adaptable to a variety of occupancy uses that um, other structures may not be able to because of the sound attenuation or fire resistance issues. Concrete is the most commonly used construction material in the world. People don't realize that twice as much concrete by mass is used uh, than all the other construction materials combined. So annually we're producing um, uh, twice as much concrete as we are all other construction materials. It's the foundation of our infrastructure. Um, so uh, uh, if we have this wonderful, economic, strong, durable material, uh, I think it's, um, it's imperative that we use it to its maximum potential. And when we start leveraging the thermal mass characteristics with geothermal energy sources, uh, as well as solar and passive um, uh, thermal mass effects, we derive significant energy savings that we otherwise wouldn't be able to in our structures.